another carbon fiber panel for uh, the M3 behind us for the interior. So we're going to give you a little demo on how we do it, and Aaron's going to help me. So yep. first step is to make sure the panel is clean. So we're going to use this panel as going to be our layup mold, and we're going to lay our carbon fiber on top of it to make our carbon fiber panel, and then this panel won't be back in the car. So we've taped up the holes so that the, the resin can't come through. And, uh, and then we use this wax to make sure that the carbon fiber and the resin will come off of the metal panel. You also want to make sure the panel is very smooth and there's not any rough edges. You want to sand it down and make it real smooth. Now, a lot of times some of the wax will actually fill in some of those voids, so it'll help with that. Alright, so basically what we're going to do now is we've got the surface prep and we've also got it waxed. And what the wax is going to do is it's going to allow us to, or it's going to allow the resins and the carbon to Release. not stick to it basically when everything's dry uh, that way we can reuse our mold and make plenty more of these so first thing we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and lay down one coat of resin for our first layer of carbons to stick to um, we've already got it all mixed up here yeah mixed up pour it out on something smooth and clean that you can get your roller in get your roller in it it's just like putting paint on so you want to make sure you get a good coat. So you're on. So it takes a little bit to get the first coat on there. And you don't have to worry about getting it too thick the first time. You want it to be good and covered, especially down in the corners. So now we take, we've already cut our pieces of carbon. Aaron's already gone ahead and cut those out. So you want to make sure you get a good one because this is going to be your, your front layer. This is going to be the layer that everybody sees. So, just make sure that I got about an inch okay. extra on the ends. This part takes just feel to get it on there. You don't want to push it too hard. You just want to kind of smooth it out. Right. And then you use this guy and he rolls it and you're going to roll it down. And this is what actually pushes the carbon through the resin and lets the resin come through. Make sure you roll it all the way out to the corners. Cut the spot when I get this edge. Okay. Got it down here. Alrighty. So you got your first layer of carbon down. So now you're going to pour more resin and you're just going to repeat step one maybe we'll just set this down as long as I wrap that under it should be good so this time it's a little bit easier to see while you're rolling it on you can see the shininess and you've got resin underneath that so that's going to come through too. And once again, you want to make sure, like with this one, to get down in here. So this is where you'll miss and uh, you'll have a dry spot when you peel it off. You got it? Yeah. All right, so then we're going to get another piece of carbon.
He's getting stuck. Yeah, it's a little seized up. <laughs> Still work. All right, good. All right, so we've run out of resin, so we're gonna go over here and make some more. How many pumps do you think we need? Uh, that was four. So so probably four, pieces, probably so. four more. All right, so this setup is designed where each pump is the correct mixture ratio, so it makes it really easy. So just say one. Now you want to make sure you don't get this too thick, too much resin on it because it actually weakens the, uh, the final product and makes the carbon not as strong as it would be with the correct amount of resin. That's where uh, the little metal tools uh, really come in. You want to tell them what they do, Aaron? Yeah, basically what it does, if you have any kind of air bubble under the carbon, uh, it's going to push that air bubble out and really seat the glass or carbon into the resin. Uh, and then afterwards, once we get done laying all the resin and the carbon on, what we're going to do is we're going to squeegee off any excess uh, resin. That way it can be as strong as it can be. Strong in the light. Yeah. And then you want to make sure that you run your, your resin off the edge of your, your piece so that you get you make sure everything is glued together. And it also helps when you're cutting it out because it allows for uh, easy cutting of the excess material on the edges. You may be able to see, maybe not, but as he's doing this, uh, the carbon is actually getting slightly wet because that's because it's actually pushing it down into the resin. And on some of these complex corners, sometimes it's a little bit harder. Get everything to stick. All right. Make sure that's wrapped under. Good. Yeah. All righty. All right. We're gonna put on the last coat of resin here. So you want to make sure you get your weave lined up as much as possible when you when you put it on that your your weaves are straight because uh, that will show when you get done. And that was more importantly on your uh, first layer, uh, but in subsequent layers it's better to cross your weaves that uh, because the carbon fiber is only strong in one direction, uh, and the direction that it's strong in is the obviously the direction that the weave is going. So whenever you're laying down your pieces, whenever you're cutting them out, 
cut them out in different orientations and then that will allow you to cross the carbon in several different ways making it as strong as possible in all directions. So with this coat you want to make sure you get it very well covered because this is the last bit of resin that goes on so you want to make sure you cover everything up but you, again you don't want to make you don't want to put too much on you just want to make sure it's well covered and especially out here on this very complex curve where it doubles over twice make sure you get it all pinned down all the way out to the edges So now we're going to use this specialized uh, tool here, aka body filler spreader. Squeegee out everything. This also helps the resin get down into the carbon fiber. Yeah. And you just want to use light pressure. You don't want to push down too hard because you'll you'll drag the carbon fiber with the uh, with the resin. You can actually push too much of the resin out as well. I'll grab that foam block and set this on. Make sure this edge stays undisturbed. Now, once we get it exactly like we want it, we're going to let it set up for about 10 to 15 hours. And then it'll be hardened and ready to come off the mold, and then we'll finish it up. Yep. So it's Monday morning, and this has been setting up over the weekend. And we've gone ahead and taken a lot of the stuff off. And you can see how our panel has dried and come out. And it's the same shape as the metal piece. So then we'll cut the holes out and cut the edges off and buff it out. And it'll be ready to fit in the car. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this guy out and uh, start making it look like a real panel. Alright, so we're going to take this thing over to the belt sander and uh, get some of these edges pretty smooth now. Alright, so we're going to start sanding on this guy a little bit right here. So we got the basic outline taken care of. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to round out some of these corners, uh, take care of the center hole, drill the rest of the holes, and we can start fitting in the car. Looking good, dude. Yeah, man. It's going all together here. It looks pretty good. I think we're gonna test fit it just a little bit. We're gonna take it out and polish it up, get it looking real nice, and uh, be ready to go. Cool. I think he's gonna be really happy with that. Yeah, it looks like it fits good too. Yeah, definitely. Everything looks good. All right, cool. All right, we'll see you next time.